Hello. Nice to see you again. Uh, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, um, this is our third video and our third time together. And the first was working with taking the time to listen to our breathing and to allow the breathing to find its natural rhythm, its harmony, its balance in us during these challenging times. And through that, we find that taking that time to truly listen, we're also taking uh, a pause, which in the Embodied Life School, we know is just uh, <laughs> the, 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 the rock on which we are strengthened, that it is the ground to be able to be able to pause, to take time out. The earth is really taking a pause right now. Humanity is taking a pause right now. And we know that there are some real blessings that come with that, that time to just stop, to listen to our breathing, to rest, to pause, to know each other better to know ourselves a little better and appreciate nature, appreciate the love we have for one another, appreciate all the gifts we've been given. So today we'll work with uh, ground and sitting. So it's good to have a chair as I mentioned uh, previously, but you can always pause this video, get yourself a nice a dining room chair, a kitchen chair, or something that's sturdy or a stool where you just have a flat situation to really sense the ground, to sense your bottom on the ground and have your feet on the ground. So let's get the chairs and yourselves organized and then we'll begin. So it's best uh, during this time to sit with your thighs so you're on the edge of that chair and your thighs are free from the chair. So it's really just uh, your sitting bones, your pelvis, your bottom on the chair. And we'll work with the sitting bones a little more next time. But right now I just want to draw your attention to the support of the chair, the, the harder surface you're sitting on. It gives good feedback to us and as we drop in more and more, so let's begin that process of dropping in, closing your eyes, dropping in. The breathing will help you go there. We're just breathing together. Listening to when the breath wants to come and when the breath wants to go, very simple. And through the process of allowing the breath to come in and allowing the breath its own timing to leave, you might also notice that you're getting more and more settled into the place you're sitting. So begin to observe that as you allow the breath in and out in its own time. And maybe you can sense these micro adjustments that are happening throughout your spine, through your muscles. How the breathing can sense when there's a little opening or a letting go and there might be a, a little bit fuller breath at that moment. Sort of a, just a releasing breath.
And you might be able to now come down into your bottom a little bit more and the breath can settle in a little bit more. Always very, very good to do when you're in times of challenge and upset or emotion or anything that's uh, taking you away from a place that you'd prefer to be, a little place that's just a little easier, a little less caught up in the moment, even in great moments, <laughs> well, it's a little less caught up. So we're dropping in, we're dropping down, we're feeling our bottom, the support underneath. And begin to make some kind of a contact or say hello to your feet and they're being supported right now from the ground. You might sense the temperature or the texture they're resting on. Some kind of a tingling maybe. So I always have the question, what am I feeling? Am I feeling the ground or am I feeling my foot? As they are, they're having a conversation right now, we could say. So I'm breathing, like we did in our first video, and I'm listening, which we do in almost everything we do in the Embodied Life School. We bring our listening and we bring a warm-hearted presence to our listening so that we're not sitting here going, oh, she, I, I can't feel that or that's not good enough or my breathing should be better. No, we just bring some care. Oh, this is how it is right now. Might change and be different later. It's fine. We're just wondering, we're just sensing, we're just inviting our contact with the ground with the ground of support to be nurtured. We're developing relationship. And then from that ground, from the feet, from the earth, from the floor, from the bottom, come more and more wedded union with that support. And then see if you can also shift your attention. So stay grounded and in contact with the chair and the ground, but begin to, it's, it's wonderful to have this spinal column for so many reasons, but it's for us when we're bringing our attention upward we can begin to kind of climb up through that vertebral column. And you're breathing and you're sensing the ground and slowly you begin to go inside. Actually, let's add our arms and hands so that we can have some auxiliary helpers and bring your long arms out in front of you so the elbows aren't bent, the palms are facing one another, and you're slowly, you'll see pretty soon, my arms are starting to rise, and my bottom's on the chair. And here's, here's my two arms, and my, my sense of myself, my sense of levity, I have gravity, and now I'm introducing this up quality through the upward motion of my spine while I'm sitting and my arms are going upward. And all of a sudden they're going right up above my head and the fingers are pointing upward. The, you can wiggle your fingers, the crowns of each finger are reaching upward. And you're not straining, you're just kind of just hanging out easily, but you've got the down in the bottom and in the feet, in the ground, the support of the ground and the chair. 
And now you have the upright quality of your whole spine, your head, and now all the space around you. That's included in your sitting. You're not just this contracted form just held in this little bitty living space. You're this whole space around you, in front, behind, around. And as you come down, you can feel maybe you kept a little bit of that uprightness and yet your bottom's still on the chair. You're contacting the ground. We go down to go up. If you just go up, you float away like a balloon. You lose yourself. If you just go down, you get often depressed and sad, and you lose your, your birthright. For every healthy child wants to rise, they want to come upright. And that's our birthright. So with the ground, we have the up. With the ground, we have support, our best friend. It's how we all learn to move in this world. We had the ground to push against. So I invite you to become friendlier and friendlier with this ground of support that's there 24-7, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Enjoy.